universal expression of art, right? And in our culture, it's very important because this is how we are able to really showcase and represent who we are to the entire world. Kaya naman, uh, we are featuring today a, f a documentary film called Beyond the Block. So, kasama natin yung director na si director Ricky Caranza, and we have another excerpt for all of you Kababayan Today viewers. Panoorin natin to. Like every Filipino household, we watch a lot of television, particularly because of family influence. And it was actually through that, mainly, that this dance culture first came through and blended with our own. You know, TV is huge in the Philippines. Um, there's a lot of lunchtime shows, lots of um, nighttime shows as well. Seriously, back in the days, it was just me watching from the television. I, I believe that, uh, you know, the culture itself, I mean, if you look at, this just came to my mind, if you look at the Tina Kling, that's pretty crazy right there. They're actually top rocking in those sticks, you know? <laughs> they got the footwork down. But there's more to family, ancient culture, tradition, and divine obligation that attract and draw Filipinos to this type of passionate dance. Dance is a common life of Filipinos. Filipinos are social by general, but I think it's social plus sort of a little bit of history. Kasama natin ang director ng Beyond the Block, uh, Ricky Caranza. Ricky, parang scientific yung pagka-explain ng kung bakit phenomenon, cultural phenomenon talaga yung pagsayaw sa pag, pagka-Pilipino natin, ano? Uh, was that intentional? Yeah, siguro dahil sa background ko na rin because uh, I, uh, <laughs> I was studying to become a doctor. So, <laughs> so very exhaustive. Yeah, I wanted to be exhaustive na I didn't want to leave any stone unturned. Na I wanted everyone to understand, you know, not just historically, culturally also, but at the same time artistically. Yung, lahat ng angles emotionally too. Uh, so lahat ng angles na sa tingin ko na importante, I try to cover them. Okay, ang pinakamalaking tanong sa lahat, Saan ba mapapanood ng ating mga kababayan itong pelikulang ito? I can't uh, give uh, a lot of detail at the moment, but it will be shown very soon. At the end of the year, uh, meron akong kausap and then we'll, it will be released very soon. Okay. Uh, in the cinema exciting and on the na, television, yes. Exciting itong project mo because you've put a lot of labor and love into it. And as you can see from the excerpts, di ba, iba-ibang tao in the hip-hop dance world ang in-interview mo. Yes. Di ba? Uh, how was it like putting it all together bilang isang director? Kasi ako, alam ko, as a producer, no, mahirap magtahe <laughs> ng storya. Yun, di ba? Yeah. Mahirap magtahe ng storya, lalo na kung limited ka yes. um, sa time. Yes. How long is the documentary film? Two hours and 47 minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that, I think, says it all. It was a hard job. Yeah. Because I interviewed more than 50 people. Tapos, uh, traveled around uh, more than 10, 10 countries, 11 countries, I think. So, um, 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 pinaka, I think, yun challenging, you, you, you know, you're keeping, you know how it is, you know, keeping one line of thought, you know, you know like one direction. And with 50 people, each one, you know, has uh, his or her own story. So, that was difficult, you know. And then, of course, yung editing, you know, so I edited myself, so... Oy, high five! <laughs> Alam ko yung paghihirap niyan, just ko dai! Yeah. <laughs> Solid talaga nga! Sleepless nights, yeah. Yes, Sleepless but nights. now you have this final product. Yes. How do you feel? Uh, I feel, I, I feel uh, it's about to start. That's what it is. It's just about to start right now. Lahat ng mga labors, all the sacrifices and, you know, all those uh, sleepless nights uh, are now going to pay off and bearing fruits. Yes, oh, oh. I think. Honored naman kami na uh, pumayag kang ipakita namin ito sa ating mga kaba kababayan. Gusto po namin bumate kay Christine Ramos. Maraming salamat, Christine. Thank you so much for making this introduction. It's so important that our kababayan see beyond the stereotype of what hip-hop dancing is, oh, oh, diba? Talaga, yes. Yun talaga yun eh. And I think this is the film that really speaks on that topic. Yes. Na ang hip-hop dancing, hindi mo pwedeng i-categorize na isang bagay lang. Exactly. Diba? Uh, napakadaming ang factors like you mentioned. And of course, you know, uh, if you have any family members, which is most of us Filipinos, who love and enjoy dancing, 
this is a documentary that you must support and you must watch. And uh, I'm very thankful that you've uh, allowed us to show the excerpts here on our show. And we're really looking forward to uh, kailan namin mapapanood, di ba? But thank you. At least uh, meron tayong pati sa audience That's para right. mapag-usapan na nila na, oy, Beyond the Black, aabangan namin yan. That's right. Ayan. Okay, when we return, we still have two more excerpts for your viewing pleasure. We'll be right back.